Well, we, we uh, are just past the two week mark that we've been practicing, so we've been happy. In the seven seasons I've been here, I think more guys came back ready than have in the past. It's still not 100%, but it's a lot better than what it used to be. So we were happy. You could actually look at their bodies and see that they got physically stronger. So that, that was all pluses. It, it's obvious uh, a lot of them, not all of them, did things over the break. And uh, so I think, I think it's, uh, things are looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. So we, we, got the, um, we got our top three pitchers back. Uh, we're happy that, that Tate came back for his fifth year. He's looking very good so far. Uh, Evan Umlin um, was a freshman last year that I think he set the save record for us. Tate was an All-American Pitcher of the Year in the conference. And uh, Nick Gaitis, we, he seems like he's back fully from, uh, he just had issues with his arm that he was just tightening up a lot and his velocity dropped a lot. But of course he's our only left-hander and he's looked, he's looked good so far. So we're hoping that he's 100% um, because he's an important part. David Leslie was probably one of our top recruits since I've been here. Uh, he came out, of, he was, had some arm surgery right out of high school and uh, he wasn't cleared for us last year. We thought he would be from the information we were getting early, but then it took a little longer than what we thought. So, so you know, we're starting out slow with him. I think um, if he reaches his capabilities, I think he can be really special. So that's our four starters. We're playing nine inning double headers. So we'll have a double header every Saturday and then, then we'll switch to it. One week it'll be a Monday, next, a Tuesday, and next week it'll be a Wednesday. So the pen after that, we're, we're still looking there. Somebody, a couple guys need to step up. We do have a couple people that have looked so good so far. Um, Robbie Randolph is a fifth year guy also, and Robbie's pitching relief for us, so he'll be one of them. And uh, Isaiah Zukowski has looked good lately. Um, so he's gonna get a shot to see what he can do. And he, he pitched a, a little bit yesterday and he looked very good. So he was a, he's a sophomore and pitched a little bit last year, but he worked hard over the break also. So we, we, like, we like our infield. Um, it's pretty, pretty set with the exception of one thing. We had like Mally Kilbane was a freshman last year. We brought him in as a closer and a DH, but uh, the pitching, we tried pitching and it just wasn't working for him. He was a good closer. He was just experienced. Every time he'd throw, he experienced some arm difficulty. So we're just uh, taking him out of that role. But last year he started at DH, then we had to play him at first, and then we had to move him to third. And he's a big guy, but he moves very well for a big guy. And of course he ended up, you know, he ended up leading our team in hitting. So he's going to start out at third base. Catching, we have CJ back for his senior year. And then we have three guys that uh, came in as freshmen last year. And they've been working hard. They, they're improving uh, each day in practice. Um, shortstop, Luca Vicari. Luca, his freshman year, hit low 200s, and he was second leading hitter on the team last year. So uh, he's looking very good. He's, of course, he, always, he has great hands, but offensively, he's looking good. And that's a, that's a big, uh, big jump for us, a big help to us. And then uh, Luke Catone, Luke was first team all conference as a freshman. Uh, right now, he's swinging the bat very well and uh, very quick. Turns a double play probably as quick as anyone I've ever coached. And uh, just a, a good solid player. He's in great shape. He came back even stronger. Uh, the only uh, new thing is uh, we lost Bubba Hamilton at first base. So uh, we've, we've put moved Marcus Williams there. Marcus played second. He played third for us and he DH for us. And uh, so he's learning a new position, which he's look, he looks very comfortable from the progress he's made. We also have uh, a freshman that came in from Colorado who uh, we like, and he just needs a little more time, uh, Cooper Babcock. And um, we may look at David Leslie at first base a little also. Exception to that position, we have everyone that finished the year back playing their position. So we feel pretty good about how we should be defensively. Well, we, um, we moved Nico from center field to left field. We feel like he was a corner guy. He just played center field out of need for us. And uh, we, we thought he gave us the best shot of being having our best team last year. So he played there. We have a freshman, probably be the only freshman to start right at the beginning, Nick Sampson right now. His jumps are very good. Just really, rarely see him take a step the wrong way in or back. Uh, he does everything right. He hits the cutoff man. He knows what base to throw to. So he's really advanced for a, for a freshman. We've got Anthony Tamalini for his senior year. Um, 
Anthony had a down year a little bit last year, but he's you, you can when you see him, you'll see the physical change in him. He really worked hard and built up his body, got stronger. He's a right fielder, and then we have we have uh, some freshmen. We have a total of six outfielders that you know we feel confident that you know they're not going to hurt us if we get them in there. And there we got young guys that the freshmen this year we had four or five start for us last year, and this year we've got. As I said, probably one that'll start the season, but but it's better guys. So we got guys to push people. We got we got a little more depth than we had in the play, past, and it's a, probably a good thing that freshmen can't come in. A bunch of freshmen can't come in and start right away. That means we're getting deeper, and that takes time. And we feel like we've done that, and we, we can we need to continue to do it to get better and better players. But uh, I really like the whole group. I like the attitude, um, the work ethic, uh, a lot of things that I had to worry about the players take care of now and uh, I really like them I think they're together so um, you know I'm excited about getting started with them and see how they do well I think um, I think I think our pitchers will will do well I think they're talented these guys got a chance to be pretty good um, I know a lot of things can go wrong especially northern baseball we can get backed up by weather we can you know field conditions, other teams could play and we couldn't maybe that have turf field so we could get behind. There's so many things, variables that it's hard to predict how someone's gonna do, but I really like them and I, you know, I, there's something about each of our top four that they're different in some ways, but I really think um, if they all reach their potential and do what they've done in the past and just a little bit better, I think we could be very good in our starting rotation. We still have to find some things out uh, for relievers that are coming in, but uh, I like I like the way some of those guys look too. So I feel pretty good about our pitching, which is a good thing. I think the conference continues to get better each year. Uh, obviously, uh, WNJ was, you know, they've been far and away better than everyone else. That's why they accomplish what they do. They're really good, and it's really hard to beat them. And you may beat them once in a, in season, and then when you play them in a tournament, it's makes it really difficult because you don't you probably have to beat them more than once to win the tournament because you need to beat them twice or you need to get beat them once and have somebody else beat them and that hasn't happened so so they're right where they deserve to be they're the they're the best team in the conference they have been they're the standard and uh it just you know it gives everybody else a goal to try and get better and i think some teams are getting better there's just a lot of the teams are getting better so that's good that's good and it'll be interesting uh to play nine inning double headers uh, that's probably we had to do that one other time I wasn't really a fan of it but my knees and my back things when those things weren't fans of it but uh, but we'll see how that goes and it's the same for everyone so we just gotta we gotta get out there and hopefully have some warm weather and not play 18 innings in the freezing cold early but uh, we had a great year weather wise last year so I think it is possible Allegheny is a good team coming in we played them three or four times since I've been here and they've all been uh, pretty good games, so they're definitely going to make the, the league stronger. So it'll be uh, it'll be a little more interesting than it's been in the past because there's more teams that are excelling and, and improving.